What's up guys? Gribbs here. Welcome to EMS and Power Melbourne Shuffle. I'm glad you're back. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do so and hit the bell for more uh, for, for notifications and more videos to come, okay? Uh, I was doing a running man there, as you maybe could guess. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going over each fundamental again, uh, but adding a little bit more sauce to it, a little bit more, getting a little bit more technical with it, more uh, advanced uh, concepts, so to speak, okay? Because I know you guys are gonna practice the basics and you're gonna get, you're gonna get bored, you're gonna plateau and you're gonna, you're gonna need something to level up, you know? So that's why I'm going back over the fundamentals, most of them, and implementing uh, these like techniques and maybe new concepts to you uh, so you can level up, okay? So I'm really excited. So today uh, I'm gonna be going over the running man. As you guys all, all know, we'll, we'll get started. The running man didn't come till later and it got, it, it got, uh, became part of the Melbourne Shuffle uh, later down the road when it started to get, uh, well, more, I don't want to say more like commercialized, but uh, after some, like more generations of ravers came along and they started adding it and then just, you would see it pop up in clubs and soon you had T-Step and Running Man uh, kind of combined. Uh, I can get the exact dates and put it down in the description. Um, I'm still learning about a lot of the history uh, myself, but I, I'll do my best to kind of uh, implement, or not implement, um, like stay true to the history and the roots of like when everything was sort of introduced, okay? So, um, running men, as you know, uh, two hops, okay? It's two hops or two slides, depending on if you want to be more chill with it. Okay, two hops is, you know, you hop up, the knee comes up to the neutral position or the uh, universal transition point, and you come down. And one, and two, and three, and. And you see how I remember come up flat, come down flat. My foot comes up for the most part flat, come down flat. I like to go into a 90 uh, degree angle. Uh, because I like the way it looks on camera to me when I watch myself back. So you can, it's up to you how high you want to go. But uh, some really important reminders, how high do you want to bring your knee? Just think, drive your knee up. So when you want to go, you know, higher, you want to have a more powerful looking running man, which this is what this uh, episode or this, this lesson is all about. I'm going to be a little bit more power. You got to think, drive your knee up. You know, drive that knee up. Think high knees. Okay, think high knees from like practice or track or football or sports, okay? This is a very athletic uh, dance, okay? It's hard, it's a hard style dance, you know? Um, okay guys, so this episode in particular uh, for Running Man is gonna be a little bit more focused on power now uh, and driving the knee up, okay? And getting that desired look that we all uh, that a lot of people want in their videos and when they watch themselves back. So again, you know, two hops, all right? Come up with the knee up and the universal transition point, that's that's step one, hop one. One, two, okay? Other side, one, two, one, two. Versus the slide, if you wanna be more chill with it, you, you'll, you'll hear this. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so you can just be chill with it. Or you can drive the knee up, add more power, do the hop with it. One, two, 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 one, two. Okay? So. It takes time to get your knee up, and there's many different things. You remember I talked about how you can extend your knee out forward, your leg out forward, or you can be right here in the center and just have high knees, or you can, ex you can go into a deeper lunge. Okay. 
again, the, knee, the leg out in the front. See, I'm much farther forward. Okay, so that's up to you. That's up to you guys. You decide what looks best. Okay, this move is very draining, but if you practice it, I always say, practice each move 100 times. Like in one in one sitting, if you can, don't don't you know work your don't tire yourself out. You need to take a break, take a break. But literally, play some music, record yourself, and just running man it out. Okay, the music will take away uh, the pain. You know, the music is the it gives you that sensation. So it, it, all of a sudden, it doesn't even become a workout. It just be, becomes fun, right? So sit here in your mirror, record yourself, and, and running man it out. Until you start to just, it, it'll click, I promise you it'll click. In the beginning, you know, we're so judgmental of ourselves and we critique ourselves. Even, you know, I still critique myself till this day and if I see my running man starting to slack, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, I, I will take a, a good month or a couple weeks to drill it and be like, alright, what's going on? Like, why is my running man looking a little you know, a little shaky or, or whatever, you know. So, but today I want to focus on something that I've been doing lately, uh, like I just said, because, you know, you're going to go back and rework things over and over and over until you get it to look a certain way or look many different ways. Just because the dance is, I mean, it's, it's limitless, you know. It is like evolve, you can evolve certain moves, of course, but, you know, all, you'll always know the, the true roots of the dance and the core fundamentals, which, you know, T-Step is the main one, Running Man, you know, did come next later, you know, along with all the other fundamentals, but, so, yeah, just, you gotta drill it out in front of a mirror, you gotta watch yourself, or record yourself and watch it back, drill it a hundred times, put on a, a song that's just consistent, has a good consistent beat, Drill it, fill your knees, fill your legs coming down, getting that perfect angle. You'll feel your body start to sway and the balance, you'll start to get a better center of gravity. You'll figure out your lean and your sway like I was saying. You'll start to pick your head up more. You'll start to be more confident, okay? Now you see I'm stomping a little harder and that's what I want to show you guys. So. The one that I mentioned, it's like the three, the three different kinds of running man, where you can, and in terms of like angle and, and uh, um, stride. So you can take your foot and come out. I like to do this one lately, but when I, I don't go too far out. I go maybe about halfway out. And when I come down, I kind of slap my foot down. Not very hard. It might sound hard or it might sound like loud or hard to you guys on camera, but I promise like I'm not doing it enough to hurt my knee. Okay, because you want to be you want to be easy on your on your body. But it makes it look a little bit more harder. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So here's my here's like my normal running man, okay? I would usually come up to 90, okay? Now if I want to like add a little bit of power or I want to look a little bit more, you know, a little bit more like aggressive in my videos, okay? I'm going I come out with my knee up, you know, still up. Maybe a maybe a 45 slightly uh slightly at a 45 or or like a 90 or maybe like in between the two and I'll come out and I'll I'll go I'll go I'll go up and out. And as I come down, I'll kind of slap my foot. I I've been given the reference of like a horse cuz a when a horse trots Okay, I don't care, you know, maybe it sounds silly or goofy, but hey, you gotta have a, an analogy to help get your point across, okay, so, or maybe like a giraffe, but like, when I do it, I'm just like, now, it probably, it, it almost, it almost kind of reminds me of the foot flick a little bit, but yeah, you're coming out. And it's like a, it's like a snap. It's like a, a very snappy running man, okay? There's a few, there's a few shufflers, well there's more than a few, but I know there's, there's a handful of people out there that do this 
particular style, and they even get more into a lunge. But that's why I want you to play with certain, certain like levels, like more in the front, maybe more in the middle, more in the back, maybe add some back stride with maybe even more front, you know? But again, just think of it as like a snappy running man. It's really, it's really snappy. Okay. I'll move the camera closer to it a little bit for you guys, but again, okay, when you come out, you're coming out and you're slapping it down. So you get that nice snap effect. And it doesn't, this doesn't hurt me at all. If I really want to like make it like painful, you know, then I'll, yeah, I can do that. But, you know, I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to hurt myself here, okay? Like, yeah, I can add that power. I can be as, like, as aggressive as, as I want to be, but, you know, I'm not trying to burn all my energy. Usually, if you're dancing like a really hard song, right? Usually, most people that I see, including myself, you wanna, sometimes people these days, people will start with like a really hard running man. It'll be like eight running man, no more than that, because if you start to do more than eight running man, it just looks, it's kind of like, okay, like what's the next move? You know, you need to, you need to change up your move. If you're not changing up your moves, uh, every, at least every, you know, you know, six, seven, eight counts, it, that to me, or it could be like a sign of like, you know, you're still, you're still new and you're still kind of, your musicality is still um, developing, okay? So, and sometimes I'll see people doing a running man even before the, before the beat drops. And it's not necessarily wrong, but it's like, okay, like try and maybe work on some arm flow or some, you know, work on some flow or something before the beat drops. That way when the beat does drop, then you hit that running man properly, and then after, you know, whatever, six to eight running man, change, and then go into a T-step, or do a slide, or different moves, you know what I'm saying? So out the gate, if it's a hard, you know, techno trance, whatever, hard style song in the beginning, you can, you can feel free to like hit that powerful running man, you know, get that perfect lean, You'll feel it. You'll know when that running man feels good. It just, it's like a full body and like mind connection. And when you hit that pavement, when you hit that floor, that surface, it feels, it just feels connected. It feels really good, okay? So, that's what I want you guys to keep in mind, okay? Now you notice, I'm not like, I'm not coming up here. You know, again, that's the more... That's the, more, that's the running man more like in the middle, okay? But like you could work up to that if you want. Just know it's, it's, it's heavy, it's, it's a lot of stress. Well, not stress, but it's a, lot of, it's a lot on the heart, a lot on the chest, okay? So just be careful when you do this stuff. Warm up properly before you get into these really like powerful, you know, lunges and, and strides, okay? So just be, just be really careful on your body. Um, but in order to get to that achieved or desired level, yeah, you have to, you got to practice and, and remember, uh, I call them burnouts, you know, where you play a song and you literally count or see how many running man that you can get and not just, you know, weak, weak or soft running man. I'm talking about the, the aggressive ones. Okay, I think one time at the shuffle meets, like back in the day, I counted up to like 40 something and I was like, whoa, you know, from like 20 something. So it started to really build my stamina, build my, my power and my energy. And you're, you'll notice your knees start to get higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. These like ligaments in here, the muscles get stronger. It's like the, it's like the elasticity, it like stretches every time the more you work this stride, okay? So, 
there you go. You need to you need to practice. You need to practice hitting your running man just like you practice hitting the T-step and all the other drills. This one is really really energy and drain and uh, energy consuming. So I understand and you know I'm 30, so like I mean I'm in great shape, but you know I only do so many many running men because I'm you know I'm I'm gassed <laughs> after a while I'm tired so um, again just think of it as a snap I think that's the perfect description <laughs> I was saying kind of like a horse earlier uh, but you when that foot comes up it's you're you're coming up you are still coming up flat you know for the most part. And you come up, out, and you're almost, it's almost, it's almost like your, not your toe, but like the ball of your foot is gonna hit first, but it, it is gonna be flat, okay? You know, uh, this is where uh, I'll move the camera here in a second so you can see what it looks like ground ground level. But you know, it's gonna take some take it's gonna take some effort, some practice. You know, and you know, what is the back leg doing? Okay, well, the back leg is is sending power as well as sliding back or hopping back. Okay up to that front leg to help drive the knee up. This slide back or this hop back is your momentum and your power to drive up. So if you want to go up more, you know, a lot of that power comes from also crunching, you know, that how, how much you drive the knee down after it comes up sending the other leg up, or the other knee up, so it's like a, a loop, okay, it's like a cycle, so just keep that in mind as well, okay, a lot of things to remember, but I promise you, it, it gets easier, it only gets easier the more you practice it, the more you connect with the music, okay, practice to the music, like don't ever, not, you can practice without music, of course, and maybe you should try that once or twice, but it, then it just becomes a workout, okay? When you when you play the music, it, like I said, it's it's the sensation, it's that feeling that it just feels amazing, okay? So it took me a very long time to get get to where I am now, um, to to get my running man to to look that specific way. And you know, there's 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 certain things that you can do to definitely injure yourself. So like I said, be careful, like. Don't forcefully come down as hard as you can. That's that's not the name of the game here, okay? It's it's how much energy or how much how much energy you can you can put out but still look powerful enough to keep going for like 30 seconds to a minute plus, but also like look look that look a certain way, look powerful enough to be like, wow, okay, and he's still going, okay? So you'll learn and you'll feel and see what works for you to conserve uh, energy, okay, uh, within your running man. So, all right, I'm gonna move the, the camera closer now. So just bear with me for a minute here, and uh, yeah, we'll get going. All right, so brought the camera a little closer for you guys. I know these angles help a lot, so. Uh, again, I'm just gonna perform it, uh, demonstrate it here for you. So, again, you're bringing that your knee up, and you're coming. Remember, we're gonna come out a little more now, and you're gonna come down with a little bit of a, a stomp. Okay. Now, there is something out there called Cali style, uh, and there's like two or three different versions. One of my mentors has told me and taught me, you know, a couple of them. And maybe some people might refer to this as Cali style. And usually Cali style to me is a higher than a 90 degree angle when you raise your knee up. Uh, you know, a regular Melbourne uh, running man is, is literally like 45 degree angle 
to 90 degree angle is what I've gone by and what I've been taught. So, you know, it's not, uh, Running Man is not supposed to be a hard move. It's supposed to be like very uh, kind of chill and relaxed in terms of like bringing the knee up. Cali shufflers, that's a whole other, uh, it's a whole other topic. Uh, to my knowledge, Cali shufflers develop their running man. The story is from Malaysian style shuffle, which is another one. And in doing so, they kind of created their own style and um, having more running man based, a more running man based style and a higher running man overall. So don't worry if you're not, you know, if you're Melbourne, I consider, I consider anybody Melbourne, obviously if you have, if you do T-step and running man, okay, you don't have to have the highest, most, most powerful running man in the world, okay, that just is something that comes in time, so, um, anyways, I'm chatting a lot, okay, so, again, you bring that knee up, uh, And I know I said two hops, you know, and sometimes, sometimes maybe you'll just be standing there, okay, and you'll just, maybe you'll lurch or lunge forward into that running man. You won't always hop, you know, you won't initially always do one hop, you know, two hop. Uh, it's not always going to be like that, because if you guys remember also, sometimes you'll be, remember what I said in the previous uh, running man tutorial, I believe I said it, is sometimes you'll want to be... Uh, getting yourself prepared for the drop and you'll kind of want to be doing a small running man like this that way when the beat does drop watch you'll be ready and go okay but sometimes yeah maybe you will be standing there but nine times out of ten you're gonna be want to be you're gonna want to be grooving getting your body ready some people do this and then they flick their foot out, and they go for it. Okay? So, in my opinion, never just be standing there waiting for the song to begin or start. You want to be, like, anticipating. Remember, uh, I think I actually had, a, like, Prediction. I had the episode in Series 2 called Prediction. You know, kind of predicting when the beat is going to drop, and then, then you go into that running man or whatever, okay? Um, also, you know, I, I mentioned like, this, is, this dance is, is very, uh, it's hot, you know, high impact, uh, very athletic. If you don't work out, working out would be a good idea. I work my legs out, I do, I do just like squats with weight, with like lightweight. I don't do like heavy, heavy squats. But you know, building your legs up, stretching, eating right, staying healthy. I mean, it's proven for longevity. And yeah, it, it definitely helps get, get, your, uh, get your body right and get your legs and your knees up higher. And again, add all these things together and you really drill and focus it, I guarantee you in like a month alone you will see progress along with like crunching your abs a little bit as you bring your knee up you know when you crunch your knee <laughs> crunch your knee crunch your abs and your knee just slightly as you and you'll get at least an inch or two so I've noticed easily uh, when you bring your running man up or when you bring your knee up okay so uh, again uh, let me try it mirroring just see for you guys, I know some people like to see backwards just because it, they can mirror. So, literally, we're gonna, I'm gonna do it just like getting ready, like for a drop, okay? One, I'm gonna start on the four. So, one and two and three and four. Okay. Do it this way for you. So, this is my right leg, my right side. Uh, I'm just gonna start off from a standstill position. So, or I'm gonna kinda, you know, do the two hops. Okay, so again, we'll just try from a standstill position again. 
and get a little closer, why not? Come up, and as you hop or slide back, okay, remember, we're going out a little bit more. We're going beyond this, this threshold, this middle, this safe zone, as I like to call it. Because it's when you start to get out here, things start to uh, get a little crazy. You know, you, you start to get uh, deeper or, you know, like a more higher knee and more, more powerful looking look. So, again, here we go. Come down. Same thing as normal, as a normal running man. But we're extending it out further and bringing the foot up, 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 up. Yes, it might come, you know, it might come up a little crooked sometimes or in a flag formation. But try your best to, as you bring the foot up, 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 you want to not curl it. But remember that dorsiflex just means flexing your foot like this. You know, not like this, but you're going to come down for this particular running man. Flat. Okay? Nice and flat. And it even feels really good to me to open up a little bit, to, stre to stretch and widen the uh, stride a little bit. It, just, it feels really good. And there's different strides that are more comfortable for different, you know, for, for everybody, you know? Okay. Now, as for my body, my my upper body. Okay. I'm. You guys saw earlier. Mostly, I am just keeping it pretty pretty straight and center. I I like the arms straight down look. But that'll come in time. But a lot of times, people will try to get more height or a more powerful stride and they'll lean forward because they need that extra like gusto, or they need the that extra like push. But work on keeping your, your torso and your body straight for the most part. I wouldn't, you know, I'm not saying it's wrong and you can lean forward to get a, to get a different desired look, but uh, me personally, I like to have a nice straight posture Okay, when I when I do this. Okay. So yeah, I think that about wraps this up guys. This is this is just to give you to show you, you know, more what it looks like to add some power to your to your running man. Because when you start getting into like techno, uh some of the like some of the harder like tech trance or hard trance or hard style yeah you're gonna wanna you're not gonna wanna look soft you know you know you wanna look hard this is a hard dance at the end of the day this is a hard dance okay um, it's irrefutable like if you wanna look aggressive watch you know watch what I do you know I danced everything but what you know watch what I do um, watch the, watch the OGs, watch the old hardstyle uh, Republic videos, watch pure hard dance videos, um, and you'll see, like, you'll see the kind of, like, energy and, like, power they're putting out. So, I'm just here to help you facilitate, uh, your style and your, the technique and, you know, along, along the way of your journey, so. So another thing, uh, just a, a mini drill to get to get the concept of what I'm talking about when you get this when you get this snap. Just literally do this. Pick your foot up, and I want you to slap it on the ground, kind of like a like a horse or like a giraffe. Okay. You can slide it back if you want, just to get that feeling. But you wanna you wanna get that snap. So when this when this comes down right here, it's between this and your ankle, like right here, right. Okay. Literally, you should be able to do it with ease. Like, 
Okay. Other side. I can tell by doing it, this side is a little weaker. And that's why you have to do this to strengthen. Okay? Yeah, my right side is definitely my stronger side. Okay? So just pick your leg up. And when you come down, okay, not on the heel, flat, like that, okay? So practice that a hundred times if you have to. You'll know when it's a nice flat, you know, when it's nice and flat, <clears throat> excuse me, with the ground. Then when you get that down, start adding that snap effect. you're running man okay now remember this is only if you want to enhance it make it look a little bit more powerful give yourself a different a little bit different look okay that's it um, there's many different ways to, to to do this so that's the way that I've evolved in doing so of course I'm gonna share it with you guys because I think it looks good and I've gotten a lot, I've actually gotten a lot of compliments on that particular way that I do my running man. It, it looks it looks steezy, it looks it looks really good, okay? So, um, yeah, moving on. Um, I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, so, thank you for, for watching, and hopefully this helps. If I need to go over it again, I will. I'll make, I'll make an even more detailed one. But if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, hit the bell. Um, you guys know the drill, okay? So. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, I hope you guys did too. I felt it was very, I felt it was very, uh, like I was very like connected and in the flow of teaching it. It felt good um, because don't practice. We well, don't. Uh, what is that? Don't don't preach what you don't practice. You know. So okay, that's it, guys. Uh, keep shuffling and see you on the dance floor. Peace.